In this video, we will teach you how to configure your USB joystick. In this case, I will be using a Logitech Extreme 3D. Elite does support SATEC, CH, and other joysticks that are available in the game controller section. This top main flight control box is only used for the joystick or the yoke. The bottom box is for the rudder. So let's not press this button because it will turn your Logitech into a rudder. So I'll go ahead and highlight the Logitech, select it, configure it, and here are the axes. So if I go left, right, that's my aileron, forward and back, that's the elevator. If I twist this one, I can make it my rudder. And in the back, it has a little throttle. So I'll make it throttle. Now there's a function for the coolie hat and another function for the buttons. So if I press the trigger button, I'll click uh, turn that into freeze so I can quickly pause and unpause the simulator. If I push another button, now that one turns green. That basically means it has been programmed. So the next one, I will make it a uh, trim. So I'll do trim down. Then I'll push the other button, now it turns green. Now I'll do trim up. And when I push another button, it will turn my trim green. So I've programmed now the freeze. I've programmed the trim down, and I've programmed the trim up. Once I push OK, and OK to this next screen, now my joystick has been configured. The next part about this is we've got to calibrate it. So if I go to configuration screen, click the calibration button on the left console, uh, part of the screen here. Now that's my joystick and that's the rudder on the joystick. So if I go left, right, forward and back, twist the grip. Now I press set, turns it yellow. That means it's been calibrated. Now I'll calibrate the throttle. So all the way back, all the way forward and in the middle. Now I'll go ahead and push OK to this. Hold down the save. And that concludes setting up your joystick.